so um, short, uh, not shortly, but but you know, a few weeks after um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier ended, um, we finally started to get <clears throat> we finally started to get um, some footage of the Eternals movie, which you know we we've been waiting to see anything from this movie for quite a while. You know, like. <laughs> It's been so long since this movie was first announced, and now is the first time that we're finally seeing footage of it. You know, Marvel released this this reel of, like, the history of the MCU, and, and you know, they showed us some stuff of what to expect from the MCU going forward, going forward, you know, revealing, you know, what the next movies are going to be, as well as the release dates. Um, this confirmed um, the actual title for Black Panther 2, which is now called Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And the actual title for Captain Marvel 2, which is now called The Marvels. And uh, they also confirmed that, um, you know, Fantastic Four is finally uh, going to be coming to the MCU. And, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be the last movie of, of, of Phase 4. Because um, I don't think we were given a release date for that, which means that certainly it's going to be coming out um, after all of these other movies uh, that um, they showed. But, uh, yeah, they announced uh, the, these titles and release dates for all these other movies. And uh, in that, uh, they also showed footage of the Eternals for the first time. And then, you know, after that, they, they actually released a full Eternals trailer. So, uh, I actually don't have any notes prepared for this. I'm just going off the top of my head. So, forgive me if I mess up any part of this explanation. But basically, um, in Marvel Comics... Uh, what happened was uh, a really, really long time ago, like like pre-human civilization and whatnot, these cosmic beings called Celestials came to Earth and basically put uh, three different kinds of humans uh, uh, on Earth. Um, one group is called the Deviants, which are like, you know, people with unchecked mutations and, and are meant to be the inferiors, you know, to these others that, that they put on Earth. Um, another were, were people with um, more controlled uh, mutations, like, like basically how, you know, how people with superpowers, but they need to be awakened somehow. You know what I mean? Like, like this is basically Marvel Comics explanation for where mutants come from and how somebody, for example, like Bruce Banner can be exposed to gamma radiation and instead of dying from it, he becomes the Hulk. You know, so th this is basically the Marvel Comics explanation for, you know, superpowered beings, wh where they come from. And then you have uh, the Eternals, which are people who are more naturally, you know, superpowered and, and you know, basically godlike beings, you know, like, like, like the superior, you know, power versions, you know, whatnot. I'm explaining this very badly, but but basically, you know, they're they're meant to um, protect over the other humans from the deviants. And um, eventually what, what ended up happening was um, the Eternals, you know, basically failed to do their job because what ended up happening was uh, because the deviants are, are meant to be the, the inferior ones and whatnot, they, they felt the need to, to defend themselves. And what they ended up actually doing was taking over and enslaving humans and, and, and whatnot. And, um, you know, all of this w was basically uh, meant to be an experiment by the Celestials to see whether or not the Eternals would, would actually uh, do the job that was assigned to them by the Celestials. And when they eventually return to Earth and, and see that, um, you know, the Eternals did not um, uh, protect humanity, um, they, they basically... Um, I, I forget the details of it. Like, like I said, I, I didn't have any notes prepared for this. Um, I'm just going off of memory. But, but they basically, you know, like, like punish the Eternals for, for failing to, to do their job. Um, you know, again, I, I can't remember the details of that off the top of my head. But um, trust me, I am going somewhere with this because I do think I know, you know, what to expect from the Eternals movie uh, based off of, you know, their history of, in Marvel Comics. Um, and by the way, I've only uh, studied the uh, general history of uh, the Eternals and not individual characters. So forgive me if there's stuff that I'm leaving out. Um, 
So basically, what I'm expecting the Eternal the Eternals movie to be is um, more or less a history of the world for the MCU, because this isn't going to be a movie that's that, that like spans decades, like well not decades, but rather different time periods. You know, like like the beginning of humanity, um, you know, modern day, you know, and and possibly you know, like like who knows uh, what to see, like yeah. It's going to be a movie that that spawns um, different time periods and, and, and whatnot. Like 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 there, there's so many things that, that 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 could happen in this movie that that's hard to to guess exactly what's going to happen uh, in this film. But I imagine that um, we'll, we'll still see like like the Celestials finally get introduced to the MCU proper. Like we had already seen a Celestial um, in Guardians of the Galaxy, you know. Oh, excuse me. When the collector is explaining what the Infinity Stones are uh, to the Guardians, uh, when they show him the Power Stone, we actually see a Celestial using the Power Stone during that explanation. But uh, we're never actually told what Celestials are. <clears throat> excuse me. So I, I take it that. Um, we're obviously going to see the Celestials introduced proper into the MCU in this film because uh, the Eternals, um, you know, like their origin in Marvel Comics is more or less directly connected to to the Celestials. Like you, you basically can't have Eternals without having Celestials as well. So the Celestials have to be, you know, included in this movie at some point, even if it's only, you know, to show them, you know, creating the Eternals and, and humanity and whatnot, and, and them, you know, seeing the results of the experiments um, later on. In fact, um, what I imagine is, is going to happen is um, because the Eternals more or less decided not to interfere, as they say in the trailer, um, this results in, you know, of course, the snap happening in Infinity War and, um, you know, Thanos wiping out half the universe, which will include, of course, you know, a part of the Eternals population. And um, whether or not if the Celestials come back to Earth and, and see that this happened in part because of the Eternals' failure um, to protect humanity and whatnot, or if the Eternals decide from themselves that, you know, we can no longer live in hiding anymore because um, we allowed this to happen, you know, We'll, we'll, we'll see whether or not if it's one or the other, you know, when the movie comes out, obviously. But I imagine that, that that's, you know, one of two ways that, that things can play out. So uh, the other thing that um, I, I'm more or less expecting um, from the Eternals is that, uh, like I said, in Marvel Comics, they, they explain, you know, where mutants come from, from this experiment that the Celestials did um, with the creation of the Deviants, mutants, and... and you know, the Eternals and whatnot. So if there's anything that we're going to see that actually starts to begin teasing the existence of mutants in the MCU, it's the Eternals movie. Because, again, you know, the origin of mutants in, in Marvel Comics comes from, you know, the Eternals and the Celestials and, and whatnot. So, you know, there's no other better place for them to, you know, explain where mutants in the MCU come from than this movie. You know, even if it's only like like a teeny tiny thing that you know you got to look for and understand as a comic book fan in order to find uh, in the movie it's also entirely possible that um that we won't see mutants teased in the eternals and they're going to actually wait until well i don't know if they're going to make this a, a like a franchise or a trilogy or anything like that but it's possible that we won't see mutants teased in the mcu until an eternal sequel which God, we'll, we'll be, like, forever since from now, but, um, yeah, um, if there's any place to, to, to look for the beginning of the introduction of mutants in, in the MCU, it's definitely the Eternals, um, which is one of the reasons why this is probably the thing from the MCU that I'm looking forward to the most, uh, this year, uh, well, besides Spider-Man, obviously, but, um, yeah, uh, one last thing uh, that I wanted to discuss real quick is, again, be because, um, you know, the origin of the Eternals, you know, involves also the creation of mutants and, and as I mentioned before, deviants, um, Thanos was a, a deviant, you know, 
So, you know, his, his he has a connection to the Eternals as well. And uh, I don't think we'll see Thanos uh, in the Eternals exactly. Um, if anything, we'll, we'll, we'll see like a cameo from him or whatnot, you know, or maybe a character related to his, his origin, you know. I don't know if you... He'll, he'll play either a cameo or, or small role in the movie at most. And uh, if anything, you know, if we if we do see him in the movie, it'll most likely just be like a flashback to, to you know, him on Titan or, or, you know, just the events of Infinity War or whatnot. You know, I don't expect Thanos to, to play that big of a role, you know, if he shows up in the Eternals at all. But it's definitely a possibility he'll at least make a cameo again since he was a deviant and, and um, you know, deviants and Eternals are related characters, you know, races, whatever. So, uh, yeah, that, that's more or less uh, what we can expect uh, from the Eternals movie, I think. And uh, with that, um, I have basically covered all of the topics that I, I wanted to talk about this week. Uh, like I said, there, there's more stuff that, that I wanted to get to, but I'll cover all of that um when I have Marvel Mondays uh, next week. I, I assure you, for real this time, whether it happens in the morning or evening, I am going to do Marvel Mondays next week. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, I'm going to go watch episode two of Loki uh, after this video uh, finishes uploading. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you next week for Marvel Mondays, and we'll talk about the rest of the topics that I wanted to get to, and uh, also Loki episodes 1 and 2, because I think it would be better for me to wait until next week to talk about uh, uh, the first two episodes of Loki, since uh, given everything else I've already talked about this week, it's already becoming a bit too much for, for, for me to cover. Uh, so, uh, yeah, next week we'll, we'll talk about Loki and the other stuff I want to get to. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, have yourselves a great rest of your day, week, and whatnot, and take care of yourselves. See ya.